Welcome to the BI Publisher Extensibility Training. In this lesson, I will demonstrate how to modify an RTF template, including adding columns, changing the sort order, highlighting rows, and changing the logo. For the first part of this demonstration, I will use the Payables Payment Register RTF layout. Before we do anything else, we must save this as a different name to ensure that we don't overwrite the original. Make sure you save the layout as a rich text format, and also make sure you change the name. Now that I've saved the layout, I'm going to navigate down to the second page. For the purposes of this demonstration, we are going to move the Payment Document field from the header to the detail section of the report. Therefore, the layout will no longer need to group by Payment Document so we can remove the group by field and its corresponding end. Next, we need to make space for the payment document field in the detail section of the report, so we need to alter the column widths of the other fields. Now that we have plenty of space, we can insert a new column. We next add a title. We can copy and paste the existing payment document field from the header section into the detail section. Now that we have copied the payment document field to the detail section of the report, we can remove it from the header. We can do this by highlighting the row and then deleting it from the table. This report layout also displayed a subtotal by payment document. As we are no longer grouping by payment document, we can also remove this row from the report layout. The next thing that I'd like to show you is how to change the report logo. Click in the header region of the report. Select the logo and then hit delete. Then insert your own logo. You can then copy and paste that logo into the header region of other sections. We're now ready to test the report layout. First of all, we need to load some sample XML. Now we can preview the report layout. In the PDF output that's generated, you can see the logo display clearly. You can also see the payment document field in a detailed section of the report. You can also see that the subtotal for payment document has been removed. In the next part of this demonstration, I will use the invoice agent report RTF template and I will show you how to sort the data within the layout. First of all, we must save the layout as a different name. Now that we have saved the report, we can navigate to this section of the report layout that we wish to sort. In this example, I'm going to sort the data displayed by the RTF layout by the field remaining amount. Therefore, I will place a sort command in the corresponding group field. Double click on the group field to edit it. I'll place the sort command here. It will sort by the remaining amount field in descending order. I'll also change the report logo as I did before. We're now ready to test the layout. 
First of all we'll just save it and we'll also need to add some sample XML. We can now preview the layout. In the PDF output that's generated, you can see the company logo clearly. If you navigate to the second page, you can check the sort order of the data. You can see that the data has been sorted by remaining amount in descending order. For the final part of this demonstration, I'll use the cash requirement report RTF template and I'll show you how to use different colours for alternate rows of your report. I'll also show you how simple it is to generate output in Excel format. First of all, let's save the RTF template as a different name. Next, navigate to the main body of your report. Before we add the commands to change the colour of the rows, we need to load some sample XML data. We'll add the commands to change the colour of the rows to the group field for the main detail section of the layout. Double click on the group field to edit it. Add the XSL commands to change the colour of the rows. Next I'll change the layout logo as I've done in the previous examples. We're now ready to preview the layout. In the PDF output that's generated, if you navigate to the main body of the report, you can see that alternate rows have different colours. Next, I'll just quickly show you how simple it is to generate the output in Excel format. This will generate Excel output for your report layout. And if you navigate to the main body of the report, you can see that the alternate rows are coloured differently as well. This concludes this demonstration in which I've shown you how to modify an RTF layout including adding columns, sorting data, highlighting rows and changing the logo used.